What is up you guys? Gold Pony here today in the 2016 Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat courtesy of Stettler Dodge Jeep Ram in York, PA. And once again, this thing is an absolute beast. But so anyways, starting with pricing, this one is gonna start at $67,645. And this Hellcat is gonna be powered by a 6.2 liter Hemi supercharged V8 engine, putting out 707 horsepower, 650 pound-feet of torque, the top speed of over 200 miles per hour, 204 miles per hour, that is ridiculous, and a zero to 60 time of around 3.7 seconds. Seconds. And this is all in a four door. So you got the practicality too. That is freaking awesome. Anyways, miles per gallon is going to come in at 13 in the city. 22 on the highway using premium fuel of course and that crazy amount of power is going to be sent to the rear wheels through an eight-speed torque flight automatic transmission a couple other things i wanted to mention on the performance side of things at least there is an srt tuned bilstein three mode competition suspension that is definitely going to help you out with cornering and as far as the brakes go they are going to be manufactured by brembo and they do come with enormous rotors and six piston calipers that are painted in red that look absolutely awesome of course and there is hydraulic brake assist as well now next thing i wanted to mention as far as visibility goes i can see perfectly fine out of my rearview mirror once again just like the challenger hellcat i reviewed i have no issues with visibility side mirrors are also really good no issues there as well then another really sweet thing i wanted to mention is if you slide the shifter over to the left you can actually put it in sport mode which allows you to use the paddle shifters which are mounted on the steering wheel of course so let's give that a shot here i want to see how quickly these things actually react for me Oh my gosh, I didn't even get past third gear. This car is ridiculously fast. And the paddle shifters are extremely quick reacting and it held that first gear as long as I wanted to hold it as well. That's another thing I look for in paddle shifters is that it doesn't actually shift for me like it's not doing right now. So I'm sucking up crazy miles per gallon, which I don't really want to do, so shift awesome love the paddle shifters on this one i'd say it may even be just as fun as the six-speed manual that i drove in the challenger hellcat to be honest crazy amounts of fun oh my gosh <laughs> I gotta show you guys this. The speedometer, when you're watching it accelerate, it almost is a blur. It's going up so fast. It's so much fun. Anyways, I'm done telling you guys this car is extremely fun because I think it's quite obvious at this point. It's pretty freaking fun. And so anyways, let me move on to the exterior a little bit. Start, there are bifunctional HID projector headlamps. And just below them, there are LED daytime running lamps as well. By the way, those headlights, they are automatic as well. When it starts to get dark out, if you put it in that automatic setting, they're automatically going to turn on for you. And then looking up a little bit, there is a performance hood with ventilation. Of course, that is all functional. It does feed air into the engine to help keep it cool because with a car with this much power, that's definitely gonna be a good thing. Then around side, there are body colored heated side mirrors. And as far as the wheels go, they do come standard 20 by 9.5 inch with a matte black finish and they are forged wheels. And they are also wrapped in all season high performance tires. Now we'll say with the wheel setup, although it does come standard with that matte black finish, this car of course has my favorite color on wheels. It is that gold bronze hue, definitely looks awesome. And then anyways, heading around to the back, there is a small spoiler back there that definitely looks good. Just below all that, there is a dual exhaust setup. So as always, you guys know what I'm gonna do next here is that awesome exhaust clip back let's check out the cargo capacity here and that is actually going to come in at 16.2 cubic feet so that is definitely a ton of space back there but for whatever reason if that wasn't enough those rear seats do fold down for a ton of added space if you needed it then jumping around to the back as far as rear legroom goes that does come in at 40.1 inches so for reference i am an even six feet tall this is how much space i had going on back there definitely enough for me another really sweet thing i've definitely got to mention on this one is those rear seats they actually do come heated as well when it gets cold out the kids or your friends in the back seat they also have the heated seat option so that's pretty freaking sweet and so but anyways moving on to the 
front. The front seats are power adjustable, of course. They do come with a leather finish. They are heated and ventilated. I do have the ventilated seats on right now because it is 89 degrees, the car is saying, so it is very hot outside in Pennsylvania. Of course, there is the SRT logo etched into the backrest as well. That looks good. And once again, just like the Challenger Hellcat, those seat belts, they do come optional in a red color as well, which I think would look pretty freaking awesome on this black car right now. Anyways, moving on to the steering wheel. It does come leather wrapped. It is tilt and telescoping. By the way, that tilt and telescoping is power adjustable as well. That's pretty nice. And of course, the steering wheel is flat bottom as well. That's always good for the sportier look. I like it. Anyways, let's move on to the startup. To start this one, simply put your foot on the brake, press that red engine start button right there. And then upon startup, it's going to growl like crazy. It's going to sound awesome. The gauges are going to come finished in a black, red, and white finish. And those gauge needles will do a full sweep upon startup as well. Then front and center, there is a ton of different things you can scroll through. Like for instance, to start, there is the digital speedometer, of course. And if you're watching this video in another country, you can switch that speedometer to kilometers per hour as well if you wanted to. Then the next thing, there is a ton of different vehicle information, including the tire pressure and a ton of other stuff. So I'm going to let you guys check that out real quick right now. to my favorite part of this display screen here. There is the performance screen. To start, there is the zero to 60 timer. That's always a ton of fun. There's a bunch of other timers as well, like the quarter mile timer. There's braking distance, there's current G-forces, and then there's your peak G-forces, which it saves as well. That's pretty cool. And there is, of course, a lap timer and the top speed in this vehicle as well, which is the coolest part of that performance setup as far as I'm concerned. So it kind of gives you an incentive to drive faster, yes, but still it's freaking awesome that it's there. You gotta admit that. And what comes to the interior, the automatic transmission, here does come with a leather shift boot that looks really good just behind all that there are two cup holders and just in front of the shifter there is the dual zone climate control setup as well so both the driver and the passenger of course can have their own climate control settings so everybody's happy now let's check out the fun tech on this one to start there is the radio settings there is the media settings by the way on the charger hellcat it does come with the six premium speaker sound system so i tested that out it definitely sounds good doesn't sound quite as good as the challenger hellcat to be honest but it is perfectly fine trust me then next you can also check out the heated and cooled seat controls on the screen here as well. You can link your phone to the car. You can check out all the different apps on your phone on the screen on the car. So that's always pretty freaking cool. There are the climate control settings, which is all touch screen on this one. That's pretty freaking nice as well. And then lastly, of course, you can pair your phone to the car. Then you can have Bluetooth hooked up so it projects throughout the car and you got hands-free capability. That is always extremely convenient as well. But last thing I wanted to mention on the screen is when you put it in reverse, there of course is a reverse camera. So you can see exactly what's behind you to make sure you're not running anything or anyone over. And so by but I guess that kind of segues me into safety. So to start, there are advanced multi-stage front airbags, seat mounted side impact airbags, side curtain airbags, blind spot and cross path detection. There is traction control, electronic stability control, hill start assist, rain brake support, which is actually the first time that I've seen that one. And what that does is it activates when the windshield wipers are on by applying a small amount of pressure to the caliper to help keep the rotors dry when it's wet out so you can come to faster braking. That's a pretty good idea and actually the first time I've seen that. So that's pretty freaking cool. Anyways, continuing on, there are rear child seat upper tether anchorages for the car seats of course the last thing i wanted to show you guys is there is a remote start system on the charger hellcat as well that's pretty freaking sweet so anyways this is what the key fob looks like for the hellcat what you're going to want to do to activate the remote start is to press that button twice and then the car is going to turn on so you can literally turn it on from inside your house when it's really cold out so the car is going to be completely prepared for you by the time you actually get inside of it that's freaking nice. And so anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. Feel free to check me out on social media right there, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay gold.